Hello everyone, it's uh, Professor Scott Ian here and uh, it's another one of my responses to a student who has sent a request for a painting technique. Now, uh, you know, I remind you every time I do these videos because there seems to be people who don't quite get it that these are individual requests. I'm not asking you all to do the same painting that I'm showing you just now. I've told you many times that if you want me to do a technique and show you it, request it, and that's for an individual. But I'm showing them to everybody because it may be of interest. You may be using something like this in your painting. So this student was struggling with doing water. So I've put out some colours here, blues and greens and whites, so that's going to be water. Use plenty of water to paint water. <laughs> Keep your painting flat. If you're painting something on the water, like the student in question, she has got like a um, pier, a wooden pier. Uh, don't do it first. Do the water first, then paint the pier later. The reason for that is you don't want to have to paint around the pier to shape the water. You want to be able to put the water first and let it dry, then do whatever goes on top of it, trees, whatever you want. So I'm going to just start it very easily, just take some colours. And now all water is different colours, it depends where you are. You know, there's Caribbean water, there's icy water. I'm just going to do an aqua tint here. Can you see that? There we go. I'll put some other colours in with it. I'll maybe spice this up a bit because it's a bit dull looking. Put it deeper water. <laughs> For me, deeper is darker. So I'm going to make that a darker water. The thing is to let the water make the water look like water. With acrylic paint you mix it with water. So, you know, you're already halfway there because you're using water in the painting. So I'm just smoothing this out. Different looks here. I'm going to put a little bit of a darker shade in with that so you can use a uh, you could use a brown or something whatever. There. Okay, so I'm just going to put little bits of white on top of it where the spume of the top of the breaking water is. Spume, I never know what words Americans use. I mean spume for us is the foam on top of the water. Uh, spume. So you can see it's starting to kind of like shape out there and you know, get a, this is, you can see it, but you want to get the watery effect from the water. So it's just like that. I mean, I'm doing this in literally minutes, so, you know, you can spend a bit longer getting it up, but there you are. It's just to get the effect of it looking more naturalistic. So you do the water first, then, you know, if you're painting something on top of that, let it dry. Use your biggest brush. You know, I'm using this big brush because I'm doing a demonstration, but you have at least one biggish brush amongst your collection. I'll put a bit of spume on there, you see, there it goes. So water, very simple like that. You know, it's, it doesn't have to be kind of killing you or agonizing it. 
just make it quite simple. When it's dry, then you can paint something on top of it. You know, we'll pretend that this is dry just now, even though it isn't. So once it's dry, whatever you want, you know, but don't paint this first. Wait until the paint, wait until the water is dry. Then you can do whatever, you know, this is, this is, imagine that this is on top of dry. <laughs> can you imagine that this is on top of dry paint? So then you can do a, a tree, a beach or whatever you want, but wait, wait until the water is dry, you know, and then but I'm just doing it in black paint so you can see it, but you get the picture, you know, just put it in like that, make it simple. I mean, this is a very crude kind of uh, example of what it's going to be like, but it's just to give you a quick idea of how to do it. Plenty of water, the biggest brush you can find, and then just go over it like that. When it's dry, then you can put whatever subject you want on top of it. Beaches, trees, piers, ships, whatever you choose. So that's it, a quick one for a student who wants to do water. Blues and greens, mix them together, wash them all over the canvas while they're in all watery. It's got to be flat, you've got to put this on the floor or on a table. And as you're doing that, just put a little bit of white with it to get the spume on top of the water. I mean, you can do it better than this. This is just literally in three or four minutes. So. Anyway, that's how you can go about doing water.